Hey guys, it's Bub here. Windows 10 version 21H2 or build 19044.1288 is now in the release preview channel. This is pretty much the final build of Windows 10 21H2, which we should see sometime before the end of this month. However, the name 21H2 may cause some confusion as Windows 11 also is known as version 21H2. So, it appears like we're going to go with Windows 10 21H2 and Windows 11 21H2, which is a little bit confusing, but it is what it is. So, let's now take a look at the new changes in Windows 10 version 21H2. Now, before we take a look at the new features inside of 21H2, let's make one thing very clear. This is obviously just a bug fix update. There's only three new features, and they're not that major. And overall, the biggest thing in this update is the amount of fixes from Windows 10 21 H1. So let's take a look at these changes and what was actually fixed. This build does have new Wi-Fi standards, specifically it has WPA3 H2E standards, which allows for more advanced Wi-Fi security. Obviously, in a world where the internet keeps getting more dangerous and dangerous to use, having advanced security standards built into the operating system is definitely a welcome change and something that I believe is very important. Windows Hello for Business has a new deployment method called Cloud Trust. I don't specifically know how this works as I've never used Windows Hello for Businesses and I've never really met a business that has used Windows Hello for Business. However, this is obviously a great feature for those who know how to take advantage of it and overall this is probably the most major change in 21H2 which is kind of sad. And finally, we have a Windows subsystem for Linux change. There is now GPU computer support in WSL for machine learning and other intensive workflows. The Windows subsystem for Linux is obviously a big thing that was brought with Windows 10, and it keeps getting better and better. So I'm very excited to see this come to 21H2, and I have no clue if this is in Windows 11 or not. And now, we can take a look at the bug fixes in 21H2. The list Microsoft provided was extremely long, so I picked some of the most important ones in my opinion. There's been a fixed threading issue that might cause Windows Remote Management to stop working under high load, which is obviously a good thing if you're managing Windows remotely, you don't want it to randomly just stop working. There's been another fixed issue that causes file migration between DFS paths that are stored on different volumes to fail, and obviously if your volumes are failing that's a horrible thing, especially if it's because of Windows so obviously this is a good thing for those who use DFS paths. There's been a fixed issue that resets brightness for SDR content displayed on HDR monitors, so if you're viewing regular SDR content on an HDR monitor, sometimes Windows would reset your brightness. I have experienced this issue on 21H1, so I'm glad to see it be changed here. I haven't had this issue on Windows 11 though. There's been a fixed issue that might cause an external monitor to display a black screen after hibernation, so if you put your computer in hibernate and you wake it back up, it just might show a complete black screen, so this is obviously a good thing. There's been a fixed issue that might prevent a user from minimizing an app that uses an unthemed window, which if you can't minimize an app, that's obviously a very critical thing, so we're glad to see this fixed. There's also been a fixed issue with resizing images that might produce flickering in artifacts. I have seen this one before, and some people thought their GPU was failing because of the artifacts, so thankfully it was just a Windows issue. There's also been a fixed problem with copying and pasting a text box in Office 365 apps. I'm not surprised. Office 365, I'm not very much a fan of it. I would rather use a flat-out purchased copy of Microsoft Office like Office 2022. And finally, they've enabled over 1,400 new mobile device management policies. So this means that administrators have more management over their deployed systems, which is obviously a good thing. As for the speed and the stability of the operating system, I really haven't noticed any difference. This feels exactly the same as Windows 10 21H1 did. I personally noticed no difference in times of opening applications and just running through and using the operating system. So it... It, to me, it just feels the same. Obviously, I feel like Windows 11 is faster, so that's just my opinion. However, this feels the same as 21H1. However, I am sad to say that there are no new UI improvements to this build. Microsoft has decided that in this build, they're not adding any UI changes, which is understandable because Windows 11 brought the new UI changes, and it would be kind of stupid to bring down Windows 11 UI changes to Windows 10, when they're trying to push people to buy a new computer for Windows 11. 
And so this is Windows 10 21 H2. It is really a minor update and most people won't even notice if it automatically installs as there's really not many changes. Overall, I feel like this is how the future of Windows 10 will look like. We're going to get these tiny yearly updates like this that overall is going to really not affect Windows 10. It's going to stay the same mostly for the next few years as they have Windows 11 now. Windows 11 is the new feature filled operating system that Microsoft is really putting a majority of their focus in. However, this is just my opinion and we could see new features in Windows 10 in the future. However, I wouldn't bet on it. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe and like it if you're new around here as I do all kinds of technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.